In a normal year, we would have gathered for our annual honors banquet and enjoyed a celebratory evening in which student prizes were awarded. Today, I am pleased to recognize excellence in our student body and announce this year's student prizes. In the brass and woodwinds category, the Thomas Daniel Nifinger Prize, which is awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated the highest standard of excellence in woodwind playing, goes to Cameron Ross Cullen. The John Swallow Prize, which is given to an outstanding brass player whose artistry and dedication have contributed to the department, is awarded to Michael James Fleming. We have a few words of congratulation from Professor William Purvis. Michael, you were chosen from among your awesome brass colleagues for your accomplished playing as evidenced by your recent Total Tubist Award, but also for your important contributions to the brass community in organizing sectionals in the fall outside. Congratulations. Cameron, you were chosen for the Nifinger Prize for your thoughtful artistry and also virtuosity as a flutist. You have been a wonderful, understated leader of the winds during these most difficult times. Congratulations. In the choral conducting category, the Robert Shaw Prize is given in honor of the renowned American choral conductor and awarded to a choral conducting major in the School of Music who was chosen for distinguished achievement by the choral conducting faculty. This year's Robert Shaw Prize goes to Joseph Larangis. Professor Jeffrey Dalma has a message for Joseph. Joe, we congratulate you on all of your accomplishments over these past two years. We send you our heartfelt thanks for the many ways you have helped to sustain our choral communities here at Yale during this challenging time. And we look forward to all the ways you will greatly enrich the choral field in the years to come. Congratulations. In the area of composition, the Woods Chandler Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the student who composed the best work in a larger form during the year, goes to Eli Greenhold. The Rena Greenwall Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the student who composed the best work for piano during the year, goes to Joelle Thompson. The John Day Jackson Prize, which recognizes outstanding chamber music compositions written for strings with or without other instruments, is awarded to Linda K. Dallimore. The Francis E. Osborne Kellogg Memorial Prize, which recognizes the best composition written in a contrapuntal style, goes to Sumin Kim. And the Ezra Latterman Prize, which goes to the student who wrote the best composition for musical theater or a voice, is awarded to Samantha Marie Wolf. Professor Chris Theophanidis offers his congratulations to these recipients. Hi, everyone. On behalf of myself and my colleagues in the composition department, we want to congratulate Linda, Eli, Joel, Sumin, and Samantha on their prizes this year. You all are really an exceptional class of composers, each with a unique and beautiful voice, and we're honored to be able to award you these prizes this year. We wish you guys all a lifetime of vivid imagination and a path full of the possibilities that will allow that imagination to flourish. And remember, come back often. This is your home. Well done, everyone. We have two awards in the organ area. The Charles Ives Prize, which is awarded to an outstanding organ major, goes to Matthew Ingwersen. And the Julia R. Sherman Memorial Prize for Excellence in Organ Playing is awarded to Clara Gerdes. Professor of Organ and Institute of Sacred Music Director Martin Jean has a message for our awardees. 
Matthew Ingerson was a double major in piano and math at the University of Notre Dame before coming to Yale, but also an aspiring, brilliant young organist. He challenged himself here with new and difficult repertoire. Congratulations, Matthew. And Clara Gerdes is well on her way to becoming one of the leading lights in the organ world and in church music. She is a fiery virtuoso, an exquisite choral musician, and a person of deep faith. Congratulations, Clara, and good luck in all you do. In the piano area, we have two prizes. The Charles S. Miller Prize, which is awarded to a gifted pianist who has done outstanding work during the first year of study, goes to Anthony Ratanoff. The Elizabeth Pariseau Prize, which is given to outstanding pianists at the School of Music, is awarded to Yichen Feng. Professor Boris Berman now greets our piano prize winners. Anthony, you made a great progress in your piano playing this year, including solo, chamber, and collaborative repertoire. You gained respect by your colleagues. Congratulations. Ichen, you worked with seriousness and determination. Your progress has been recognized as you were admitted to our coveted Artist Diploma Program. Have a great next year. In the strings area, the Georgina Lucy Grosvenor Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the violist in the graduating class whose performances at Yale have exhibited the highest potential for success, either as a soloist or chamber musician, goes to Emma Wernick. The Aldo Paraso Prize, which goes to gifted cellists who show promise for a concert career, is awarded to Jonah Ellsworth. And the Broadus Earl Prize, which is awarded to outstanding violinists in the School of Music, goes to Michael Patrick Ferry, Jeremy Lap Hei Hao, Bing Young Li, Kyung Ao, Kikuru Yonasaki and Wei Xu. Here is Professor Annie Kavafian to congratulate the string students. On behalf of the entire string department at YSM, I'm happy to congratulate all our wonderful prize winners. You have contributed so much to life at school, and we know you're going to make us proud as you go throughout your careers. And today, I'm also happy and thankful to the entire Yale community for making life what it is despite this most unusually difficult year. Thank you. We have three awards in the area of voice. The David L. Kasdan Memorial Prize, which is awarded to an outstanding singer at the School of Music goes to Martina Ardell Miskolid. The Smitri Deb Memorial Prize, which is given to an outstanding graduating singer who best reflects and exemplifies the ideals and values of Smitri Deb and her commitment to teaching low-income and underrepresented children, is awarded to Matthew C. Peterson. The Phyllis Curtin Career Entry Prize, which is given to a graduating voice student who demonstrates exceptional talent as an artist and promise for a professional career, is awarded to Ryan Matthew Caposo. Now we have a message from Professor Gerald Martin Moore. Martina Miskelet, our beautiful Cenerentola, will join Montreal Opera this fall as a member of their Young Artist Program. Matthew Peterson, whose passion for singing already embraces a love of teaching, and Ryan Capozo, your incredible work ethic combined with your eagerness to explore new and challenging repertoire has yielded some remarkable vocal and artistic progress this year. Congratulations to all three. In the Doctor of Musical Arts program, 
the Friedman Thesis Prize for a DMA thesis notable for its distinguished research, original perspective, in-depth engagement with its subject, and well-crafted presentation is awarded to Joseph Laurentius. Professor Paul Berry has congratulatory words for Joseph. Congratulations, Joe. When we first discussed possible thesis topics, I urged you to avoid Mongolian choral repertoire. Scores were inaccessible, cultural barriers loomed, doing justice to the music and the people who made it required a complex hybrid of analysis, musicology, and ethnography. You did it anyway. Thank you. No other thesis could have so powerfully demonstrated your sophistication as a writer, your experience as a singer and teacher, and your love for the not yet understood. And now we come to the school-wide prizes. The Malcolm L. Mitchell and Donald M. Roberts Class of 1957 prize is awarded to an outstanding graduate teaching artist in the Music and in Schools Initiative. This year's prize goes to Hikaru Yanasaki. The Philip F. Nelson Prize, which is given to a student whose musicianship is outstanding and who demonstrates curiosity, talent, and an entrepreneurial spirit in the many dimensions of the music profession, is awarded to Hannah Pauline Tarley. The Presser Foundation Music Award, which goes to an outstanding returning student to advance that student's music education, is awarded to Katherine Arndt. A new award this year, the Planck Music Residency, established by the estate of Yale alumnus Raymond Planck, is awarded to two students for distinguished achievement in their major. Each will complete a two-week residency of independent work in the extraordinary setting of the UCross Foundation in Wyoming. The winners of this year's residency are Jonah Ellsworth and Joelle Thompson. The Yale School of Music Alumni Association Prize, which is given to graduating students who have excelled in their respective fields and also have made important contributions to the School of Music, is awarded to Shanae Lauren Anderson, Henry Bond, Ann Cho, Kevin Chow, Rihanna Lee Cockrell, Maryam Hajialigal, Connor David Giovanni Holland, Beatrice Xie, Hesol Amy Hur, Eleni Katz, Suman Kim, Amelia Bren Merriman, Catherine Francis Pollock, Marvin Wren, Alexa Steer, Mara Elizabeth Tuffy, Samantha Marie Wolf, and Seho Young. The tradition of awarding three prizes at commencement goes back many years, and it is a time we all anticipate in this ceremony. I'm delighted to award these prizes today. This year's Harriet Gibbs Fox Memorial Prize, which is given to a student who has achieved the highest grade point average during the student's first year at the School of Music, goes to Magdalena Kuzma. The Horatio Parker Memorial Prize is given each year to a student whom the faculty believes has best fulfilled Dean Horatio Parker's lofty musical ideals. This year, the Parker Prize is awarded to Nikki Pett. The 2021 Dean's Prize the school's highest excellence award is given to a member of the graduating class whom I select in consultation with our faculty. This year's Dean's Prize is awarded to Ryan Tani. 
and to all of you who have won prizes at the School of Music and at the Institute of Sacred Music, we offer you our heartfelt congratulations. Please join me wherever you are in congratulating these students on their impressive accomplishments.